I don't know about you, but walking into Ross and picking up three toys is a lot cooler than going to work for eight hours at a job you don't like. Breezy retail. Follow the hustle. All right, we got a few of these here. These are going to cost us $15.99. They're going to pay out $25.60, and the rank is really good. So this is going to be about $10 profit each, and we were able to get at least two of them. So that's 20 bucks. The rank on this Mr. Potato Head Toy Story 4 set is ridiculous. The price is a little bit much at 30, but it's gonna pay out after fees and shipping about $12 each and we got three of them. So spend 90, 36 profit. It's over 30% ROI, that's great. But these ones were the winners of the day. This is gonna cost me $15.99. So after tax, it's like $17, but on Amazon, it's currently selling for $80 and there is not a ton of listings. And the payout after fees is $45 profit each. And we got three of them, which means that's 135 bucks. The rank is 66,000 with tons of positive reviews. This is gonna fly off the shelf, especially as it gets closer to Christmas because it's just early September right now. Killed it. There's so much stuff that's profitable in Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, stores like this, but they're getting a lot smarter. And the prices, they don't have that big of a gap from the retail price as they used to. So it might say was 25, now 18.99. Unless that product's like discontinued or incredibly popular, you're not gonna make any money off that. So the game is actually about finding the things that have the bigger gaps between the retail price and the discounted or clearance price wherever you're at. Check those items first because that's gonna have the greatest chance of actually having an arbitrage where you can make profit on. Personally, I go straight to the toys just because I think that's one of the greatest opportunities or maybe it's just because I feel comfortable there and that's what I know very well. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't come into the kitchen section and scan the different knife sets, spatula sets, kitchen counter, accessories, all that stuff. Another category that has a ton of opportunity is the clothing category. I cannot stress this enough. It's just so vast. There's so much clothing. Nobody can know it all. So if you go through the clothing and you scan everything, you're bound to find something that's profitable. Just make sure you're scanning the actual garment tag from the brand, which is sometimes hidden inside the garment and not the store tag because that's not going to bring up anything. Just as I say, I'm going to leave and find a another display of toys and stuff and some baby stuff. We're going to check it out. Another tip I have for you when shopping at clearance and discount stores like this, oftentimes they have a formula for the price they offer, which is based on a percentage off of the MSRP. So by targeting toys that have higher MSRP, usually larger packages, heavier, more toy, you have a better chance to make a good dollar profit just because there's more margin there with that percentage across the larger priced item. Also, that's another tip is just look for toys that have more toy and that's hard to explain um, but it's just like when you look at it does it look like it's a good value do you get a lot of toy for your money because some toys are just better bang for your buck and when you see that toy and it's discounted to 20 and the other toys discounted to 20 and that toy is just gonna keep a kid busier for longer it's more likely to go for a higher price or at least to maintain a higher price longer don't forget to check out the jewelry cases and the watch cases certain brands especially stuff you know about you might be able to see the barcode underneath and scan it or you might have to title search it and then sometimes you can't really see the ross price and so you have to actually ask them to bring it out but start with the bigger name brands just like anything the stuff that has higher prices so like they have some ray-ban sunglasses here i'm gonna check those out not my style but still we're not shopping for me we're shopping for profit I'd rock these ones though. On second thought, I'm 90% sure those are women's glasses. And some more toys near the checkout. Check this out. In sixth grade, I sold my soul to World Industries for a t-shirt. I don't even think they gave me the t-shirt or maybe I moved, but it's still crazy to see stuff that used to be cool at places like Ross. I do need a skate backpack with a strap though. This could have came in handy in New York. Another thing guys, if this store has these items, another store that's similar to this store and in the same area is very likely to have those same items as well. So after this, we're gonna go hit up a couple more Ross in town and see if we can find more quantity of this item. Not always, 
usually. And now comes the dreaded hour wait in line. It sucks, but it is what it is. The line goes all the way over there, all the way back, and then out, so wish me luck. This might be an hour, which may not be worth it to some of you, but to others, definitely is. All right, these won't fit in bags and you can't take the shopping carts out here because people steal them, so we're gonna carry them to the car. Look what we got. These are really cool. So these were recently released by NECA, Usagi Ojimbo, which is actually a separate comic, but this guy featured in the Ninja Turtles and I remember him, super cool. These are $22 and they're selling for $50 on eBay. There's no Amazon listing yet. This is so sick. I have no idea how much this costs or what it goes for. 20 to 30, I'm sure, retail, but it might go for like 50 or more. Gotta check eBay as Amazon's not showing too much. I'm not picking these up just yet, but every year, all of the different Lego advent calendars spike pretty high and sell out. And it makes sense because if you're a kid, you want some whack chocolate or you want some Lego. I want Lego. I'm a kid. This one is on sale for 27, save $23, which is actually a good margin. It's not coming up on Amazon, so I'm gonna have to type it in and check out eBay as well. I am so unsure on this. There's no rank or no reviews on the Amazon listing, and there's actually a lot of offers on eBay for 50-ish bucks right now, even though some have sold for over 100 in the last couple days. Spidey sense is tingling though. Let's see if this one works. Yep, 50, not gonna happen. Let's see if this one's gonna be 20 or 30. 37, oh my God. All right, finally, we're gonna price check these. These are actually selling for 50 to 60 on eBay right now with free shipping. Come on, big money, no whammy. $33, I think we can wing that. Hold up, I just did some math and 50 to 60 minus about 15% eBay fees, shipping and the item cost would actually only leave us with like $5 profit. And so I think this is a case of me letting my love for Ninja Turtles cloud my judgment. Although they were selling for $250 back in July, which must be when they first dropped or at least when they were more scarce. And obviously now there's more supply and the demand is just not there anymore. So it went from 250, 200 down to about 50 or 60 bucks and it's not gonna be worth it for us. However, I did see some people are packaging lots of them together and still getting, you know, a few hundred bucks. So we're gonna look around and see if we can't find that neutrino set or some more Ninja Turtle NECA pieces to lot together. I'm optimistic, but you never know. Hope for the best, expect the worst, something like that. Yeah. There's also, some summer clearance here on inflatables and a few other things i'm going to check these out it's not summer for much longer it's actually pretty much almost winter but people do have pools indoor pools all kinds of stuff so we're going to check it out halloween is also creeping up quick so we're going to check out the halloween candy and see if we can't find some of the super hot in demand halloween candy like those pokemon trading cards candy set so we're at the back of the store where they have the rest of the NECA figures Funko Pop stuff, and we did find some Ninja Turtle stuff, so let's go through this stuff. These are so cool. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure cartoon. Was there actually a cartoon? I don't think so. It does remind me of the style of the Back to the Future cartoon, though. I'm not sure if any of you guys saw that. Napoleon and Attila. Attila the Hun, I believe, and Napoleon Bonaparte. So you're learning a little bit of history references right there with the name, super cool. I'm gonna scan that. Taka and Razor from the uh, the movie. I think, what is that? The one with Vanilla Ice, Ninja Turtles 2. I'm gonna check those guys out. What else do we got back here? We got the Rat King, which reminds me of the, uh, the Rat King I saw in New York City. Some of you guys may have seen on my Instagram. We're gonna check that out. What else do we got over here? We got the... Uh, Zack and Smash, that's sick. So Zack was the honorary Ninja Turtle. As far as I know, he's like the only one other than April. That's super cool, checking that out. Wingnut and Screw Loose, definitely checking those out. We're gonna check out all the Ninja Turtle stuff. And what is this? This is a little different looking. 
beanie t-shirt action figure magnet keychain okay so it's a gift set bunch of stuff and there is a shredder figure in there super cool and then a weird ew krang beanie with little tendrils disgusting but i'm gonna scan this one all right so we got a few ninja turtles but the thing is is i don't know what the price is for these the organization here is terrible to say the least so we got to go price check these bad boys but these are going for 60 70 80 some recent hundred dollar sales so i'm very optimistic but uh we still gotta go check it if this isn't a direct ripoff of nintendo packaging specifically trying to look like duck hunt i don't know what is i don't know if i'm mad or if i want to give them props well that was a waste of about two hours of my life it goes like that though